Hello and welcome to the Tall Timber Tutorial Series, video number 6. In this video, we will be finishing up our optional settings within step number 2. These are 4, 5, and 6. These all have to do with the calculation of volumes within the Tall Timber outputs. So our first is the cubic foot per cord setting, which if I click on that, the default value is 85 cubic feet per cord. Of course, the volume of a cord is consistent, However, the size of the average stem will impact the number of cubic feet of solid wood in that cord. So this value of 85 cubic feet per cord is the default because of a Northeast Regional Convention. Some regions will use a different value. Choosing a lower value will increase the number of cords that is reported for the same inventory and the same cubic foot volume in your inventory. The cubic foot volume of your inventory will not be calculated any differently. This is just a conversion factor to give us cords in the reporting process. When I click return with a changed value, it's going to let me know that the value has been modified and that the default would have been 85 cubic feet per cord. The next option is the board foot merchandising. This is where we choose whether we want every saw log to be calculated as an 8 foot saw log so that the board foot value is calculated for the top diameter of each 8 foot section that is called as a saw log product, or if we want to merchandise 16 foot sections whenever possible. This will decrease slightly the board foot volume that is reported, however it may be a more realistic means of reporting the volume based on the merchandising of products for that region. So, if there are two 8-foot sections of saw log adjacent to each other in a tree, based on the multi-product or the saw pulp height mode of data collection within TimberPad or your own data entry, Tall Timber will calculate this as a 16-foot log in the setting that I have here, which is the default. The next option, option number six, is the cubic foot volume equation. This is how the solid wood volume of each cylinder of log is calculated. Smalian's formula is the default for regional norm reasons. However, textbooks say that the Newton formula is the most accurate. This option is here for academic reasons or for regional changes. Most people will not change this for each inventory. And finally, the keep my codes box. If I keep this checked, all of the changes that I've made in the past several videos, except for the prism basal area factor, which we need to change every time, will stay consistent when I import a new data set. This includes the species codes, as well as the density of each individual species, sort order, merchantability cutoff, and the other volume settings that we've just changed. Those were the optional settings in step number two. In the next video, we will look at the profile report. Thanks for watching.